The camera trickery assignment is set up so that you get to figure out how to use your camera in a, in a great way. Um, and it's actually meant for little point-and-shoot cameras or your phone camera. So it's something you should be able to do. Uh, the first three parts of it are very simple. The third one is the one that's a little bit more challenging. So for the first part, I would like a set of photos. So three photos at least in a set where you use your zoom and you have to think about how you zoom. So in this case, we had a, a picture of this row of garbage cans and then zoomed in a little bit more to just one garbage can without cutting off anything. And then a further zoom where it just says the Vancouver School Board, nicely framed again, nothing is cut off. So that makes a set of three photos um, that are composed while using the zoom. For the distortion part, what you'd have to do is you have to get close to your subject and sometimes use an angle. So if you look at this photo, if you look at the size of his fist compared to his face, yeah, it looks like his, head, his fist is twice the size of his head. That's because the hand is much closer to the face. And again, that works really well with a little point-and-shoot camera or, or a phone. Same with the license plate size here compared to the screen windscreen of the car. Again, it looks like the license plate is half the size of the windshield, which we know isn't the case. And that's again because the camera is much closer to the license plate to the windshield and then angled. Same with the wheels. So that's distortion. So try to take at least four of those. For macro, you want to try and get as close as you can with your camera to the photo so that you see really fine detail. So in this case, the eyelashes or the texture um, on the plant, um, same thing with the texture here. So that's macro, so you might go really close. And again, you might have to play around with settings in your camera uh, to do that or in your, in your phone. The one that's challenging, um, and that depends if you can control where your camera focuses. And this works best um, if you zoom in a bit. Uh, if you use wide angle, then everything is in focus. You tend to not get this this uh, controlled focus. Uh, but if you set your camera and zoomed in a little bit, and then you can control where you focus. So these should be in sets of two photos together, like these two together, these two together, and these two together. So these two photos, one, uh, the, the car is in focus, and the foreground is a little bit blurry. And the other one, the chain, the metal here in the foreground is in focus, and the car is a little blurry. Um, same here, you get the background behind the fence blurry, but the fence is nice and focused. And here you get the garbage cans in focus, and the fence is a little bit blurry. So that's a matter of playing around with the settings of your camera. So the suggestion again is to use a little bit of a zoom, get your close object quite close to the camera, like within a foot of the camera or so, or even closer and then have some items in the background and then control where your camera focuses. So that could be, um, you know, by tapping parts of your screen or depending on how your, your camera is set up. So this is a challenge to see if you can work out how the camera works. And again, once you've got all of these photos, uh, post them to your blog and let me know they're there.